everyone, this is your mom GM and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to make a one pan vegetarian dish. So a long time uh, our friends out there are requested me to make a one vegetarian dish for them because I always make a lot of bread, baking and some uh, meat dishes. So now, this is your time. And uh, really, I researched about the uh, one pan vegetarian dish. So in short, we are making a curry butternut squash with um, coconut milk. So, and then we are going matching with that with a naan, naan bread, all right? So hooray for the people who are eating veggie. veggie. So today, or the vegetarian people, because today we are going to make a one pan vegetarian dish for you guys. So here are the ingredients of the butternut squash or curry butternut squash that we are going to make for today. So I have a bowl of butternut squash. I shredded it. So we have a spinach. We have um, peas. We have one cup of coconut milk, garlic, onion, salt to taste, black pepper, crushed red pepper. We have a tablespoon of curry powder, and then we have a vegetable oil, and then we have a chili, uh, fresh chili in here. The vegetarian dish that we are going to make today is we're going to match with the naan bread. So it's gonna be a yummy, yummy food. So let's start. Let's start to saute our vegetable. So now I have two tablespoons of oil here. All right. Then we're gonna add some garlic, okay? Saute our garlic until it become golden brown. So, as you can see, if the garlic is golden brown, we have to add onion, the chopped onion. Let's wait for the onion to caramelize. Okay, so once you, once you see that the garlic and onion is slightly brown and fully caramelized, so I'll go ahead and add our crushed pepper. So, I told you guys, when you add crushed pepper, you have to include it when you sauteing it because it's much, much tastier. Taste this, will, the taste will come out uh, great. And I have chili, fresh chili here, that we are going to add to our dish. I go ahead and cut our chili to make it more tasty. All right, so let's saute, continue sauteing, and then we're going to add, I'll go ahead and add our one tablespoon of curry powder. Because as I have heard, like when you saute the curry powder, it's much better than you add like when all the ingredients are here because some um, people are like adding the curry when every all the stuff are here so it's much better when you saute first our curry powder okay so that like not kind of taste like a raw raw powder so at least when we saute the curry so like all the ingredients like a like tastier and like a fully cooked so 
other than you didn't uh, you didn't sute it because when you didn't sute sute it and then you uh, suddenly add the, uh, add the um, curry powder when all the stops are here it's kind of like a raw powder so you will taste kind of a raw something so better we sute the curry powder and then so that the tasty is became good too so and then next we are going to put add our one bowl of shredded butternut squash sinredded po natin to so para mas uh, means ang kanyang paggayat all right yan Mmm, smell so, so good. Okay, so once we sauteed our butternut squash, I'll go ahead and add some salt to taste. And then we have a black pepper. Right, so it becoming more tasty. This vegetarian dish oh, is, of course, for the vegetarian people. For those, and there's a questions like, how about the people like non-vegetarian? So, for those non-vegetarian friends, they could add a chicken. To your dish this kind of this actually like a curry chicken with the um, what's this the butternut squash right you could add some meat whatever if you like a uh, chicken if you like pork or if you like beef yes you could add add to these dishes but I decided today not to use any kind of meat because I dedicated this one fun vegetarian dish for my friends who love to eat veggie or they are vegetarian people all right this is for my vegetarian friends this is another easy or a like a 30 minutes meal or even not 30 minutes meal that we could do because our um butternut squash is ready so when the butternut squash is ready Let's go ahead and add our one cup of coconut milk. All right? Mmm. You could low your stove so that our veggie is not becoming dry. And then, after that, I'll go ahead and put our, our three-fourth cup of peas. Yan. Three fourth cup of peas. This is matching with the naan bread. So later, guys, after this, I'm gonna show you how to make a naan bread. Now that our veggie is okay, so I'll go ahead and put the spinach. So put some spinach so it become more tasty. All right. Mmm. Yummy, yummy, my dish today. Wow. So let's wait a little bit. As I have told earlier, so uh, the one pan vegetarian dish that we made for today, we're going to match with naan bread. All right. So. Well, I did this, uh, I mixed the flour earlier, but you know what, as, as usual, when we made the naan bread, it's like when you make, um, uh, what's that, the pizza bread. So, this is only composed of one and a half cup flour, and one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, and a three-fourth cup of milk. Alright, so, yeah. And then, oh, I have uh, butter with means uh, parsley in here, so that we could uh, spread it together, uh, spread it on top, 
while we're doing the naan on the pan. So everything is fresh, okay? And everything is from the scratch, all right? So I'll go ahead and make a naan bread so that we could matching to our yummy vegetable dish for today, the curry butternut squash curry. So, well, let's go ahead and start. Let's put some uh, flour on the table and then get our bread. Look, I told you when I make my dough, it's becoming very great. So, once again, let's get I'll go ahead and cut the bread mm -hmm. for like this and this maybe. All right. So, yeah, we have four naan for today. All right. So, roll it. until it became a thin slice, right? Roll it, roll it, roll it. And then you could do this on the side if you like. Now that the pan is ready, so let's go ahead and put our naan bread. Okay, careful. Careful to do that. Because this pan is so hot. So this is like uh, about like uh, five minutes on each side. So we wait, when, ma when we make a naan, so at least like five minutes on each side. So actually other people like doing like uh, expert for naan bread so they have their own uh, how do you call that the mold the mold the mold stuff for the for making a naan so but we don't have that for the <laughs> for now so that's why I use my naan stick pan to make my naan bread all right so not perfectly but at least we made our naan bread from the scratch. So now that we achieved the right color of our naan, so I'll go ahead and this is a minced uh, parsley and butter. So now I'm going to get some parsley and, be and uh, butter and spread it to our naan bread. All right. Oh, smells good. Oh my God, it smells so good because of the butter and the parsley. Oh, so to all my friends that uh, judging me of making my nan, I know you guys expert, this is my first time, but you know, I'll try my best. But look, so looks delicious and yummy. I can't wait to eat it. So please don't judge me. This is my first time to make my naan bread. Uh, I know you guys are expert, but you know, this is so yummy. <laughs> and here it is. We are done making our one pan vegetarian meal. Now that we are done making our vegetarian, one pan vegetarian meal and the naan bread, so now I'll go ahead and taste our food. Now I'll go ahead 
and taste our food that we made today. Let's go. Mmm. Take a piece of naan bread and put the thing. Oh my god, it's so yummy. I know I didn't taste it yet, but look at this. Mmm. So so good. I like the sweetness of the the veggie. You know, and then we be matching with the coconut milk, and you know the flavor of the chili. Ah, oh, that's this food is food from the heart. Amazing, fantastic, absolutely delicious food. So yummy, yummy. I love it. Mmm. All the ingredients of the food that I made today, you can follow on the description box of this video. So this is so yummy food, guys. I love it and I'm so proud of myself that I did it. I hope you like this video. And if you do, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget Hit the notification bell para lagi kayong update. As always, this is your Mom ZL and I'll see you on the next one.